Welcome to Synagogues of Brazil, Part 2. In this episode, we check out a few Jewish houses of worship in the city of Porto Alegre. This city has more than 1.4 million residents and the total metropolitan area with over 4.4 million. This little cubbyhole, we believe, is where the Beit Chabad Porto Alegre is situated. This branch has been around for at least 30 years. The director of this branch is Rabbi Mendel Libero. He is assisted by Rabbi Shmuel Binyamini. We also believe they sponsor a mikvah. Porto Alegre is in Brazil's state of Rio Grande do Sul. It has the third largest Jewish population in the country with close to 9,000 Jewish residents. Here is Centro Israelita Porto Alegrense. This congregation was established in 1924. Well, we believe the building shown here was not constructed until the 1930s. Its rabbi is Marcos Perlmutter. We believe that this congregation practices conservative affiliation of prayers. Besides full Friday and Saturday Shabbat services, there are also Monday and Thursday morning and evening services. Here is the home of congregation Linat Hatzedek, which was established in the early 1930s. It is of the Orthodox persuasion, and there is also a Kiruv operation, or Jewish outreach organization, using the same facilities. And this is the home to the Peilischer Verbrand, or a group of Eastern European Jews who came to Brazil to establish their own customs. That's all the information we have, but as you could see, they were not shy about letting others see their Jewish pride. And here is Sibra, or Sociedade Israelita Brasileira de Cultura e Beneficencia. It was established around 1936. It's considered progressive in practice, meaning that it's pretty much close to reform. Its rabbi since 1996 is Gershon Kwasniewski. It has a Friday evening Shabbat service and a Saturday morning Torah study. Our final stop is Uniao Israelita Porto Alegrense, or what was once the Israel Union of Porto Alegre, as we are led to believe that this synagogue has closed down. It was the first synagogue in the southern region of Brazil, and it was established in 1910. This concludes our tour of Porto Alegre's Jewish presence. If there's any corrections to be made, I'm sure we'll hear about it. There are still a few other cities in Brazil that have synagogues. So, look forward to our checking them out. Bye for now. E até a vista.